Sunrise at Elon Musk's Starbase near Brownsville, Texas, with a massive 400 foot rocket on the pad. This is Starship built to carry astronauts and cargo to the moon and eventually Mars. And this morning, an NBC News broadcast exclusive as SpaceX announces the first commander will be Jared Isaacman. The billionaire who paid for and commanded last September's all-civilian Inspiration4 multi-day trip around the Earth, now leading a new mission program dubbed Polaris. The first mission, however, will be in the same type of SpaceX rocket and ship that his Inspiration4 crew rode, but with some big differences. We're going to go farther into space than, than humans have gone since we've last walked on the moon. And looking through the window, we can see the entire parameter of the Earth, which is so beautiful. Last year's Inspiration4 mission was part fundraiser for St. Jude Children's Hospital, raising a staggering $240 million. Now, Isaacman is taking that fundraiser global and paying for three more trips, planning to use the SpaceX new Starlink satellite network to connect people anywhere in the world with St. Jude. You foresee a day in which a family in sub-Saharan Africa, for example, that doesn't have the access to medicine that we have in the States, might be able to link up with a specialist at St. Jude. Yeah, that's absolutely the case. And we also really believe in, in St. Jude's too, which is no child should die in the dawn of life. Joining Isaacman on Polaris Dawn later this year, veteran Air Force fighter pilot Scott Poteet, SpaceX operations engineer Sarah Gillis, and engineer Anna Menon, serving as the onboard medical officer. Two of them will perform the first ever commercial astronaut spacewalk. Are you nervous about actually being on one of these flights? You know, I think it's natural to have some butterflies, but I, I deeply have faith in the SpaceX team. You know, we're going to be prepared. We're going to start training here pretty soon. Um, there's inherent risk in anything we do. I'm so excited to just see what it's like, see what the environment is like. Meanwhile, SpaceX founder Elon Musk says his mega rocket Starship is all about saving humanity and finding a second home on Mars. I mean, to be frank, civilization is feeling a little fragile these days. Starship's first unmanned orbital test flight could come within months. So that's the mega rocket Starship. Jared Isaacman and his Polaris crew are expected to fly on an existing SpaceX ship in November or December. Jared says he'd be interested in being part of a future lunar mission, but that's a ways down the road. Guys, back to you. All right, Tom Costello for us there. Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.